This global news break for this Friday's Lotto Super 7. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Dreesen with the latest from the Global News Medical File. Canadians are eating better and the numbers prove it. According to New Statistics Canada figures, we are changing our eating habits. Last year, Canadians ate more cereal products, drank more low-fat milk, consumed more pasta, and ate more multi-grain breads. Our changing lifestyle patterns also means we are sipping more lattes and espressos. Coffee consumption is up. Each Canadian drank 101 liters of coffee last year. It was 96 liters in 1996. Red meat consumption was down as well. Well, parents fed up with constant pleas for new toys might want to consider this novel idea. Turn off the television. Researchers say the average child in California in the 1970s watched 20,000 commercials over a one-year period. Today, shorter commercials and more TV time puts the number up to 40,000 commercials per year. Tests of elementary students showed that students who watched less television asked for fewer toys. It's proof, researchers say, that reduced viewing can reduce the influence advertising has on children's behavior. Parents are being told a vaccine against measles, mumps, and rubella does not cause autism. The Canadian Pediatric Society says there's no truth to the theory that a link between the MMR vaccine and the illness. Fears of a link began when a British researcher published a study in 1998. But research in several countries, including Canada, the U.S., and the U.K., has debunked that claim. Doctors say they are worried parents will stop getting their children immunized. And a study suggests people with severe psoriasis may have a higher risk of developing lymphoma and skin cancer. But researchers are unsure if the risk is from the skin disease or from the drugs often used to treat the most severe cases. People with severe psoriasis who were treated with drugs taken internally had doubled the risk of lymphomas and non-melanoma skin cancer. We'll have more from the medical file tonight on Global News at 6.